Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? So I'm getting ready for work once again and um, I was just kind of reading in my Bible and trying to figure out something that's kind of <laughs> been weighing on my mind. I am really having discernment on what my role is as a Christian and as a single mom now. I have really been contemplating what those roles are and what does that mean for me in my relationship with Jesus Christ? What are my roles as a mother being single now? And what can I do to be the best darn mom out there for my boys? And so I have all these schedules with my boys from my divorces. I am feeling like my boys have been ripped apart because they're not on the same schedule no more. I am struggling with work and trying to manage work and taking care of the kids. I have missed so much time off for trials and dates, meeting with attorneys and all that. And I am flat broke, you guys, flat broke. I thought I was gonna get paid today because I usually get paid on the 15th. 15th is Monday, it's a holiday, and no, I'm not gonna get paid till Tuesday. It is sub zero degrees this weekend outside here in Missouri, and I am flat broke. I am struggling with the things that I have at home, but, but God, but God. So let me explain to you why I say, but God. But God has provided everything for me that I possibly need. I have food. I have warmth. I have electricity right now, which is great. I have my electric heater, uh, fireplace, and I have a nice comfortable bed. I am here by myself this weekend. I am kind of lucky. I don't have my boys here that I have to get back and forth. I can shelter in place and be warm and fed and have that time alone to concentrate on me and concentrate on the things I need. So last night I had the most amazing bubble bath and I plan on doing it again tonight. I'm going to get to paint my fingernails and toenails this weekend. I'm going to have that time to do that. I have my new special shampoo and conditioner for my hair that's supposed to help with my hair that's falling out here on the top and it's going to help me feel better about myself when I start taking better care of myself, taking the time I need to take care of myself. And God knows I need this time. God knows I need this time to exercise and to just get my business up and running, work on my website and work on a community of just being in communication with people um, around the United States of America here and um, getting in to those organizations that I am uh, getting into. And so I was getting messages from my school district saying that the kids were out of school and then they need volunteers to do different things and so I am signing up for that stuff. I am active on PTA. I am getting very active in the politics of the school. This year into next is gonna be full on standing up for my family, faith and freedom. And so this weekend is gonna be that time and be in that light in my community and be in that light shining for Jesus Christ and standing up for morals and family values and standing up for what's right. And God knows I need this time this weekend to myself. And we were talking about going into work today and all of my coworkers are sitting here sending text messages all morning long since 5 a.m. about how's the weather outside? Is it too cold? And then they didn't cancel school till almost 6.30 it was 6.15 and my kid gets on the bus at 6.30. I have seen on Facebook where teachers were already just minutes away from checking in at school and they called and canceled it off and everybody's all mad 
about everything. So here's my thought. I could be upset with the world. I could be upset with my divorce and my ex-husband, with the politicians and the lawyers and the judges, and I could be mad about the rules and regulations and the tribulations and the pain and the depression I've had. And I could sit here and I can mope around all weekend long. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take care of me. This up here, mentally, I'm taking care of this. Spiritually, in God's word, I'm gonna be taking care of that. I'm sitting here folding laundry. I got towels here. I'm sitting here folding towels. And I was thinking, you know, God, I thank you so much that I have so much laundry to do that I'm gonna keep my house heated with my dryer going in the garage all weekend long. I've got a load I could do every day so my pipes won't freeze. Thank you, God, for the laundry that I have to do. Thank you, God, that my kids did not help me do laundry this week like I asked them to. You know, I have to take everything that's negative in my life and toxic in my life and turn around and count it for good. So I took a quiz this morning on um, being married to a narcissist. And if you got seven out of 10, you were definitely married to a narcissist. And I had nine nine that my ex-spouse was a narcissist you guys oh my gosh i passed that 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 test and i couldn't believe it because of the questions that were being asked i didn't even realize that i was married to a narcissist uh, i didn't know what a narcissist was until my mother-in-law called me one on facebook and i had to look it up <laughs> <laughs> and then it was just like, oh, that wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I found out, you know, the truth. And so don't believe the lies. Don't believe anything anyone says that you're not good enough, that you aren't going to amount to anything, that you're going to be poor or you're going to not survive you're not going to make it as a single mom or they are trying to take things from you to try to say you're a mental case or try to say that you are not good enough as a mother all these tactics have happened to me and i am here and i'm surviving and i am so close to not only surviving but thriving because with jesus i can do all things through christ who gives me strength right I can move mountains with the power of God in my life. I'm doing what's right. And that's all that God checks on us. You know, are we following him? Are we doing what we're called to do as Christians? And then he'll give us the desires of our heart. And I am not going to lie. I'm so excited about this weekend. I have a son turning 10 on Monday, I get to throw the biggest specialist surprises for him this weekend. I get to sit at home and just concentrate on making that little boy the happiest he's ever been on his 10th birthday. You know, I get to make videos this weekend, sit here in a warm house and cook all weekend and just be well fed. I get to take those bubble baths and I get to exercise and relax and dance and I get to have a lot of fun this weekend by myself. I get to plan for the future and that is one thing I was telling my coworker I am so excited about is just planning for the future. Don't get me wrong. I'm waiting for that rapture. I, I am ready to get out of here. But as long as I have breath here on the earth, I'm gonna look at the positive. As long as I have breath here on earth, I am gonna do God's will. And it's going to include helping others. It's gonna be including showing the fruit of the spirit, love, patience, kindness, joy, thankfulness, gratefulness, and self-control. And it's going to be a life of witnessing setting that example doing what's right not living in sin and that you guys 
that is the biggest blessing of all. It is. It really is to be in love and happy and a Christian single mom. So hope this is encouraging to you guys out there. Stay warm and God bless.